AI is taking over the world. Everyone wants to integrate AI into their application. There is a huge demand for AI developers, but the supply is not meeting the demand. So there is a huge opportunity for AI developers, but how to get started? How to get started with building production ready AI application? Welcome back to Coding Mom. I'm Hiren and I'm starting this brand new series to help you get started with building production ready AI applications. Mastering Generative AI Development. This is the first video in this series. In this video, we'll create a basic chatbot using Langchain, OpenAI and Bedrock models. And in future video, we'll be building more complex application which is being used in real world application. We'll be using Fast API to create REST API for our chatbot, OpenAI GPT models and Bedrock models as a LLM provider. But before we get started, I would like to request you to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more videos on AI, Web3 and blockchain development and cloud computing. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Let me show you, I have created a basic fast API boilerplate and I will walk you through this boilerplate. So I have this API directory in which I have defined various endpoints for check as well as check. So if I go into health check endpoint, it is just a simple route to check the health of the server. And this is just a dummy route to produce an error. So I was creating this boilerplate and I was also creating some error handling function. So I just added this to check. And this chat endpoint I have created contains some boilerplate. Let's come back to this later and let me close this directory and go to config. This config directory contains some environment variable which we will be using into this application or future application development. So it contains project name, API prefix, database URL, what are the different course origins we want to allow. It contains secret key, environment name, open AI API key and some AWS credentials. And we'll be taking all these credentials from dot environment file which I have already here. So let me show you content of dot environment file. I'm not going to show you actual dot n file. So let me go to the dot n example, which contains AWS credentials, open AI APIs and some environment related other things like secret key and database URL. So this is about settings and config. In core, I have done some exception handling and logging. So this will be very useful when we want to do some logging into our application. In DB, as of now, I don't have anything because I'm not going to connect with the DB in this video and in the model as well, I don't have anything. In the schema as well, I don't have anything. In the services, I will let you know what I have created, how we are going to build this production ready application. And in utils, I have one response handler, which is basically response with success response and error response. So I have defined this standard format where we have status code in content, we have status success or error in the case of error, I have this success message and the data and in case of error I have this message as well as error. Now let's go to the main.py. So we are spinning up the fast API application, set up the logging, set up the fast API project, add some middlewares related to course, add exception handling, add all the routes we have created and start the application. And I also added this logs when application gets started, we'll be seeing that this application has started and if it goes down, it will log this message into our log. So this is pretty much the boilerplate. Now let me show you how we are going to use this boilerplate. So let me go to the chat endpoint where I have this chat endpoint here, which takes basically two argument. One is a prompt and another one is a stream. So let me do this stream by default false. This streaming response will visit later in next tutorials and the chat response will be dictionary. So currently I have this one endpoint only and I am sending this dummy response and it is just sending the positive response from the server. Now, how we are going to basically architect in a way that we can use multiple LLM without doing much, right? So we are going to create a factory for the LLMs. So I have this provider directory, I have written this base.py method or base LLM provider, which contains two abstract methods. One is a generate response and one is the get model name method. So we are going to implement both of these method for all the LLM we are going to support. 
So we are going to support open AI as well as bedrock LLMs, right? So these are the two LLMs we are going to look into this video. So that implementation we are going to do and we are and we are also going to build factory to utilize those LLMs, right? And we are going to use Langchain for this application. So let's get started with building our first provider called bedrock provider. So I'm going to this providers directory and create bedrock provider dot pi and I'm going to ask our cursor to do that create bedrock LLM provider which uses line chain to build bedrock So let's see what it does first. So it has generated pretty much some boilerplate. I'm not sure I'll be using that, but let me apply this as of now. And it says it has imported langchain.llms. So I think this is depreciated from langchain library. So we are going to use langchain AWS and import bedrock. We are going to use this package basically that's a, you can say a community package or it's package built by Langchain and we are going to use that package to use the bedrock models and I think it is chat bedrock not just a bedrock right we have imported this Baz LLM provider we have this Langchain.schema base message and I think one more thing missing is, is settings so let's import that as well so yes we can access the settings as well and we are going to initialize this chat bedrock and let's use the default settings provided by this cursor's recommendation let me also give some other arguments as well like temperature max tokens and streaming to false so currently i'm setting this to false i also want this model name and i can specify the default value as well and let me get the latest version of this model so this one we are going to use so our model instance is ready now we can simply generate the message by calling this self.model.invoke method which is of this chat bedrock and what i can do is i can simply return the content of this response and that's it we have created our first llm provider bedrock llm provider I would like to wrap this string into app string so I can add bedrock prefix here so we know that this is the bedrock model and that's it our bedrock provider is ready now let's go to new file open AI provider and do the same thing for this as well. So I forgot to add the context here. So let me add the bedrock as well as base provider as a context. Create open AI LLM provider like we did for bedrock. And let's see how it goes. So again, let me apply this here and see it has given good answer or not. So I think it has given pretty much everything and that's correct. So we have this imported library Langchain OpenAI like we had Langchain AWS. We have created this OpenAI LLM provider and it is using GPT 3.5, but we want to use GPT 4.0 instead of GPT or a mini we are going to create this chat open ai instance as a model we are supplying the model name we are supplying our open ai api key here we are adding temperature we are setting the streaming false and let me see all these values are valid i might need to add this open ai organization as well so let me do that as well and maybe i will go to setting and add that variable here and that I'm going to add into my environment variable. So let me add that in dot example file. So 
So I have added this OpenAI organization in my environment variable as well. So it's good to use. And let's see here what we are doing. We are generating the response. We are invoking a model and we are getting this content and we are passing that to our wherever we are calling this LLM provider. And again, we have this get model method. So I think this is good. Now we just need to create the LLM factory. So let me create one file called factory and we should be able to create LLM factory out of this. So let me give both of our provider here and ask AI to create LLM factory and let's see how it does. All right, I think it has done pretty good job here. I just want to keep these providers into a dictionary. So let me ask AI to do that. Create LLM provider dictionary and it should be able to do that. So I'm accepting that and let me add that here. I think there is some errors here. I think it should work. I think this is good. We have created this map and we are using this map to return the specific LLM provider and cursor has also provided me an example how I can use this. I just need to use this LLM factory and create this LLM provider, right? So instead of this create, let me rename it to get LLM provider. And now let me go to our chat and here I'm going to create my LLM provider. I'm going to use the prompt here. Let me as of now statically define this. So I'm going to create this provider and I can use here Claude. I don't need to pass model here because we have a default model defined as well. But if you want, you can pass it. I think I will need to write bedrock here because my provider is bedrock. I can do this directly. I can pass model here as well and that should be fine. I need to import this LLM factory. I don't know why I'm not being able to import automatically, but yep, it's fine now. And I'm just passing my prompt here and I'll be responding with the whatever response I have from the AI model. Now, let me go to this LLM factory and bedrock provider and we are getting the content that is fine i think one more thing missing here is i can't directly pass prompt here i will need to create the messages and i will need to pass that here right so let me import this line chain schema and i'm just specifying system message to you are a helpful tourist guide right so let's do that and I'm whatever I have a prompt from my user I'm going to use that to create the messages and these messages we are going to pass into generate response I think this is pretty much it it should work now let me run this application okay uicon is not defined I need to start my virtual environment so let me do that And now I should be able to do that. I think I will need to install all the packages as well. All right, I think I was not writing the correct command. It was pip3 and it had started adding all the packages and it has installed all the packages. Now let me try to run again the uvcon command and yep, it has started this server, but I also got this error. So it says that base LLM provider is not defined so i think we are not being able to get this into factory method i think so yep this is not defined so yep it should be fine now yeah it's working right so let me go to localhost 8000 and if i go to health let me check what was my route 
it was health only let me go to docs all right i think it was api v1 health so that was the issue so if i check the health check system is healthy if i go to chat now i want to try this out and let me ask a question tell me something about new york in 50 words and stream is false and if i run this i'm getting this server error i'm going to copy this error and go to my llm provider which is bedrock provider and go into settings i'm not sure why we are not being able to access all these environment variables all right i think i found the problem i found a two problem actually so instead of model name here we we need to actually provide a model id and here we forgot to import settings so now we are able to access this so now let me go to swag again and try to execute this and we are getting some other error that one validation error is found extra inputs are not permitted so in the chat endpoint if we go we have two one is prompt and another one is a stream i don't find any extra input there maybe into chat bedrock yes in chat bedrock here it is region name not the region so i think this should work now all right i think it seems to be working and if we go here we get the answer that new york city is the big apple is a vibrant metropolis known for its iconic skyline diverse neighborhoods and cultural attractions so i think we have done for the aws bedrock cloud now we can do same for the open ai and it should be straightforward so let's do that let's go to our chat endpoint instead of creating this llm provider let's do one thing model is equal to gpt oro and provider is equal to open ai and we have passed model we have passed provider and let's see how it works so if i do that again again i'm getting that settings error so let me go to open ai provider do these things here and i think we might need to pass model id or maybe model name is also fine yep model name is fine so let me do that again and yep it's going to give me the response and again it's the same response new york uh, vibrant metropolis is famed for iconic skyline so this call was to open ai so this was all about creating a simple chatbot using llm factory pattern for building your chat application we are going to create more use cases around this boilerplate we are going to use this boilerplate to create a complex application we are going to use sqs to background processing because sometimes llm takes time when you have a many llm calls going on if you are going to use a lang graph to create an agentic architecture right so that is going to take a time we don't want our user to wait right we want to show some message that you can come back to later and see your responses right so that's kind of ux we want to build and that we are going to see in future videos for now i think this is it in next tutorial we are going to see more advanced things to build ai or generative ai application so this is it for now if you really like this video please don't forget to share subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon we are going to meet in next tutorial till then goodbye thank you